YouTube, what's going on? It is Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back to Final Stretch Horse Racing Sim 1. I figured for holiday seasons, um, I'm assuming it's that case for everybody in the world at some point, uh, I would like to upload uh, one video of each game um, that we have played on this channel for I don't know how long. So that is what we are going to do. So all the Final Stretch or Horse Racing Manager Sim games, Starter's Orders, Pocket Stables, all those games we'll, we'll be playing over the, the span of the next two weeks. So um, I forgot we did uh, start a new playthrough because the past two were bad. We're in Alice Springs, Australia, and we have three mares, not a single stallion. What's going on with that? So play this for a little bit. And, uh, yeah, it's been a while, to say the least, so that obviously has a pretty big, uh, pretty big factor in what's happened, but let's go ahead and go to, let's go to our boxes to look at our horses here. So there's Incredible Do Robin, uh, I don't really, do I have anything specific in my notes? I'm looking, uh, nothing specific, but... Uh, I believe she's gotten a win. We've gotten a couple of wins with her. Let's uh, go ahead and see Incredible Tank. That's, uh, let's see. Race 3. Da, da, da. I'm pretty sure he hit, we've got a couple of wins. We haven't played in a while, though, so I can't really recall. And then we have Good of Fortune. So these are both of uh, the mares. And I think Incredible Do Robin, we probably just had her mate with... Uh, out of stable uh, stallion or something because we don't have any so incredible tank is the uh, result of that one year old female she'll be ready to roll I think in this game they can race at two I think they can start at two I hope it's not three but I can't really recall um, anywho uh, I don't know if we have any races so let's go ahead and see <clears throat> yeah we have no races I don't think so incredible do Robin um, well, let's actually do Good of Fortune first. Um, she likes uh, tracks with short, muddy distances on the right or on the dirt. So let's look for that. So we'll look for something on the dirt. Uh, what is her distance? Oh, well, short. Um, it says short, but I don't even know what... Hold on. What ranges are those in this game? Or does it literally just say... If I could freaking click it. <laughs> does it just say short? Yeah, just short. Okay, well... I don't know why I always thought it had more to share, but it didn't. Um, so, looking to see, like I said, we went a short distance race, uh, preferably on the right and muddy. Um, I don't know if we're going to get the chance to choose that. Uh, maybe one of these 1600s. Okay, this could fare pretty well. I think she can handle that. Three years old and up. And the other race, they're both essentially the same conditions. One has higher price. Oh, wait, this is on sand? Hold on. No. This is on dirt. Okay, I saw sand. Okay, sand's up there. This isn't on dirt. All right. Um, as far as driver, James Turok. That's who we've been um, uh, acquiring here. So he'll be in the sulky. Um, where's James? I'm looking right at him. Is James gone? James Turok is not up here. What on earth? Do jockeys actually retire in this game? I wasn't aware that was even a thing. James is definitely... There's a James Brassington or whatever. James Tardock is really not on the list. Wow, well, Nick Rainey, Rainier, he's still here. What on earth? That's so strange. James really just kind of, like, disappeared, huh? Well, next horse, our other mayor. Five years... Or, excuse me, six years old. Incredible Durabin. She likes to race in the short distances uh, with inside track on sand. So anything short with sand, uh, she'll be pretty satisfied. It's going to be a while, though. All these races are extremely long, and I don't really want to put her in a race that long. The 2200, uh, it's not bad, but they're dirt. Um, yeah, she won't be racing for a while, to be honest. Okay, here we go. She won't be racing all the way till April. Rock Circuit. And uh, I cannot believe James is gone. I think James is probably the best driver we had, but I mean, he's completely out of there, so we're going to have to rely on Nick Rainier, who hasn't been terrible. He's he's kind of up and down, but I think he's the best we can manage um, for the time being. So, yeah, that's what we got. And, uh, you know, I'm not really sure what else to do. Um, breeding if we wanted to we have our two mares um, let's say we wanted to breed good of fortune 
we have in-house stallions we could breed or I mean uh, external stallions we could breed and get another foal I do want to get through to um, racing with our foal uh, in, in this game I never really got a chance to do that previously when I've played I'm gonna go ahead and simulate to our race and uh, I think good of fortune she'll be up first cool so um, we are gonna register to bet just to see what the odds are looking like so it's a field of Field of 16, post position 7. Looking at the rest of the field, I see a lot of horses with stats in the 80s and 90s and 70s. And we are sitting here with 60s and 50s and 20s. There's no way we're going to have a chance. But I figured this was a probably big, a pretty big race considering the prize pool. So as we look, yeah, you can see we are far, far down here in the pools. Public doesn't have any faith in us, and I understand why because I wasn't anticipating this being the field, but at the same time, I knew it was going to be competitive. I just didn't think this competitive. So that's what it's looking like. Uh, I don't think anybody's going to give us a chance, and I'm sure as heck not racing. Um, so I'm going to let the AI do their thing, and, and let's see if uh, Nick Rainier can give us a better result than we're expecting. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. <laughs> And here we go. So, um, this game is just so nostalgic for me. You know, this is the game, obviously, I grew up playing. As far as horse racing manager sims are concerned, I'm excluding Gallup Racer from that category, but I'm talking about specifically horse racing managers, uh, managing sims. You know, this was the first game, especially with harness horse racing. That was just not even a thing for most games. Is that her? That is her. Okay, I couldn't tell. What is up with my cap? Why is the cap like that disgusting, like, seaweed green? What is this? That is not the neon green I wanted on my hat. That is disgusting. That is actually disgusting. Why on earth would I have that on my hat? That That's unbelievable. Okay, I'm trying to get to, uh, what is this thing? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to get to our actual horse so the camera can be fixated on good of fortune there we go that's what i was trying to get to so this raised distance i can't remember was it 16 or 19 i think 16 since we're resting with a uh, good of fortune here on the dirt 1600 meters uh, we're coming around turns three and four uh, she's sitting comfortably just outside the pocket there going four wide she has a chance to make a really strong um you know final stretch burst uh, if Nick Rainier gets her going but if he just allows her to just fall backwards and now maybe he's getting her going as she as we come around turn four here hopefully Nick can maybe get her up there of course I don't think she'll have the speed to just be out running these other horses that are quite frankly are more talented but if she's able to, to stick with them that, that's all I want now I think she'd have to come in like seventh or eighth to finish in the money she's not doing bad she's not doing bad well, considering where this field is, yeah, I mean, she's not in last place. I'll say that much. So, yep, a couple of horses getting past. Just don't think she has it. She just doesn't have enough. And as you can see, the rest of those horses, they are way up there. And as we approach, approach the line, I mean, we're still sitting here all in a pack. <laughs> and uh, she's not going to finish in dead last. Or is she? Oh, no. Maybe she does finish in dead last. And she finishes second to last. Extremely close. It looked like it was going to be a little bit better for her. That was not the case. Dietitian came to examine Credible Do Robin. Um, just advice on some dieting stuff. Go to Fortune Finish 15. Finances of Buildings. We are overdrawn. When did that happen? I can't even... For some reason, my game is not cropped properly. And I can't even see uh, my finances at the bottom. But I'd have to exit the game to uh, look into that but we'll just go here so yeah oh we probably haven't even borrowed I'm like I shouldn't be out of money already if I borrowed but um, yeah we never borrowed money I think I was just going to see how long we could go and then kind of wing it so we'll go ahead and borrow and I'll probably borrow the most that I can uh, and we'll just see what we can do with it because I don't, I don't really anticipate on playing this long term but like I said, I do want to at least get through having our foal, that'll be a two-year-old or three-year-old uh, race for at least a little bit. I think that'll be kind of fun to try to uh, get to. Um, in that case, training is probably still, there's good of fortune. I just have good of fortune on just like full training. Um, I could have more specifics, 
Um, looking at her stats now, I want to continue to improve the acceleration, the technique, and the endurance. So we'll drop speed down a little bit. Behavior has been okay. I'm not really concerned with that. Keep techniques up. Uh, preferences we don't really need right now. In fact, I can just drop those down all the way. Acceleration needs some work. So acceleration, technique, and endurance are the three that I have highlighted. I'll drop behavior down another um, five as well. And um, give her more to technique. Acceleration, I mean, she's not slow terribly slow um, she could be faster but I'd rather her technique and endurance be together then I'll give her a little bit more strength in the stretch so that's what we're gonna um, have her do for training incredible do Robin um, I don't really have her doing anything at the moment so she needs to have a lot of things improve we're gonna work on technique she needs a lot of technique her endurance is 26 out of 44 and then um endurance is uh, 26 or excuse me injuries is one out of 40 and endurance is one out of or excuse me 26 out of 44 okay so i'm just trying to train train monitor her endurance it is increasing so we can do endurance training okay injury four out of 44 she'll be ready to go her endurance is almost as high i keep forgetting you have to manage and make sure that your horse's endurance is as close to max as possible, I think. Now, injuries, you don't want that to get up to 40, this number. But I think endurance, you realistically, well, maybe not, actually, since the horse is training. Yeah, maybe you want that down, too, now that I think about it. Yeah, all right. Uh, good of fortune, should still be training. Let's just go ahead and look at her stats real quick to see if anything's improved. If I could freaking click on this. So good of fortune, her speed is still the same. Acceleration, still the same. Technique, wow, technique jumped up to 26. The last time we played, guys, her technique was only at, uh, I think 11. And then, what is that one? Form, form's at 93. Okay, endurance is at 63 or 66. So yeah, she's actually gotten a little bit better since the last time we have uh, saw her. So we'll go to the last race here, which will be for Incredible Do Robin. Um, can't really recall who's the, who's the better of the two since it's been a while. Another huge field, 17 horses. We're sitting there in post position 11. We're kind of going to be in a weird spot. And bookmakers actually kind of have us looking pretty good here. So uh, betting mag says at weight advantage is disappointing so far, despite an excellent potential could break out today. Yeah, I mean, they're not wrong. I think she could be doing way better. Crafty press prediction says coming of age, this quality horse should be competitive here. The distance fits her style should be a strong contender. Yeah, I, th I think this would be pretty ideal if she can make it happen. Uh, again, we're going to send it to Nick Rainier to... Get behind the sulky and see what he can do with incredible do Robin. Um, where is she at? Uh, this takes forever. You just cycle through, then you never actually get to your horse until the race starts. Pretty much happens every time. There we were. There she is. 1,900 meters. I think they just go around once all the way. So four corners here. And she's actually on the inside. I didn't think about it. I forgot. I was thinking maybe it was only nine, eight or nine horses that fit in the front row um, behind the starting gate. But that's only at certain local tracks in real life. I think in the game they obviously have it um, extended more, which is great. So, yeah, we're sitting really nice here in fourth place inside trip here uh, with the horses on our outside. Uh, right part of the track uh, that will be cutting down on any wind um, resistance that we would be facing so uh, we essentially are staying out of the wind and we're still keeping a nice easy trip along the inside um, in this game and in, in its successor horse racing manager too that's ideally what you want to do in harness horse racing obviously um, in the game try to keep your horse to the inside or at least in a pack of horses that way you're not getting hit with the wind because that will decrease uh, your horse's endurance and stamina um, pretty quickly and will leave you uh, pretty dry at the end so it's really best to try to get yourself in a position where um, you know you have another horse that's essentially protecting you from the wind resistance or the or the wind that you would be facing throughout the course of a race so that's essentially what's happening now now nick rainier is going to have to 
pop the pocket here eventually because uh, if we want to have a chance at winning, I don't think it's going to happen just staying on the inside. I think a new, little movement is going to need to happen if it can happen. Uh, he needs a little bit of space. Uh, one of the horses on the outside need, need, needs to move out a little bit. Like right now would probably be a good opportunity if he could somehow feel like she's got a lot of speed in there. If he was somehow able to move, like right now, those horses are going to clear out. This is kind of an advantage he needs to take. Um, if they move out even more, he's trying. She looks like she has so much speed, guys. She looks like she has so much speed as we're getting close to the wire the last couple hundred meters. He has a chance now. If he moves her out to the outside now, he has a chance. I don't know if he's going to. Doesn't look like it. And we're at the wire. Oh, man. Great result, but it's it just it felt like she had so much more speed in there. So much more speed. So close. But it's a fourth place, 883 winnings, whatever. It's a decent result, and that's what counts. And who cares about the comments? But, yeah, I just feel like that definitely could have been a win if he just would have gotten her to the outside a little bit more. But beggars can't be choosers. We'll take it. That'll do it for today's video. Appreciate you guys' love and support uh, on the channel as a whole. I don't know what game I'm playing next. It probably will be the successor to this, which is just Horse Racing Manager 2. We'll hop into that. I can't remember if we started the season mode or anything yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Appreciate you guys' love and support. As always, cannot say that enough. Can't say it enough. And I cannot, listen to me, say it enough. Really do. Uh, it's awesome to be able to play these games and upload these videos to YouTube and, you know, all uh, the positive comments you guys leave. I mean, uh, it's a really cool thing, and I'm, uh, you know, very appreciative for, for that and, and for you guys uh, for being, like I said, great supporters here on the channel. So. That means a lot, and I thank you all. Until next time, though, Sports Racing Gamer signing out. I hope you all have a great and fantastic day. See ya, and goodbye.